you feel horrible because you keep going back to this past and you keep reliving it and you're very attached to it and you're trying to fix things of your past in the present time. So what do you do? You go to your therapist And they lead you back, whether it's a past life regression, whether it's going back into your childhood, whether you're going to fix something with your inner child, or you're going to fix something with a trauma that happened. Whatever is the story is that you're going back in the realms of thoughts. It's the world of thoughts you go back to. You don't remember everything. That's another thing. Is Do you remember what happened when you were 8 years old, 9 years old, 10 years old, 13 years old? Do you remember your, your life? What part of your life do you really remember? How much of it do you remember? I quite often use this example. Let's say there's four of you get together, four girlfriends get together, and you know, this is 10 years after, 10 year anniversary after you graduated from college, and uh, you all get together, and uh, you're having a drink, having fun, talking about old days, and uh, one says, oh, remember that one time we were in this bar or whatever and and you jumped on the table and you had the bottle of whiskey in your hand or tequila and you were drinking and you were dancing and your, your girlfriend says, no, it wasn't me, that was Janet. And Janet says, no, it wasn't me, that was Susan. Susan was doing it. So something happened and... None of the four people can agree on that event, that who did that. So you can't even remember and agree on the same experience you had together because the memory is lost and it's not clear anymore. So if you examine it for yourself, which I highly recommend it, is see how much of your past you really remember how much of it is there how much of it is exactly how it happened because our memory is tricking us you don't really remember it but then you are investing heavily on this story of my life, heavily investing in it, of this, of that, this happened, that happened, poor me, I'm a victim. And then this, as you get older, you have more relationships, you have more failures, life the school, you know, you succeed and you fail. And all these things starts to accumulate. But normally we don't do any therapy if we have succeeded and we have won and we had a pleasant experience. You don't go to a therapist or you don't come to me for help. You go to your people for help only when something's bad happened, something has broken you, something has damaged, something has really had an impact on your emotions, your psyche, then you seek help from the professionals. And this accumulates as you go forward, means it adds on to your story. Your story gets more grim, more gray. And your attachment to the story gets stronger. Your investment to the story gets heavier.
you're invested in it, deeply attached to this story, and you want someone to listen to it, and you want them to acknowledge it. But that doesn't happen with me, I'm sorry. I have no patience for your story because it's another story. I don't even have any patience for my own story because it's another story. Because I discovered that everything that happened in this life, it never happened to me. It happened to a character named Zarathustra, but it didn't happen to me because I'm not that guy. I am watching that guy. Nothing has ever happened to me. I was never prison. I was never tortured. I never had a near life ex death experience. I've never been cheated or lied or heartbroken. None of these things ever happened. It happened to a character playing the movie called Life. And now I can see it, observe it from the outside. It is a great story. It's interesting. I may one day write a book about it. But it wasn't me. And when you come to this understanding, you will actually come and thank me for it. Sincerely. Because you get liberated from the story. Because the story is rotten and all it does, it makes you suffer. And all it does, it keeps you in bondage. It wraps up your wings. You can't fly. And anybody who wants to work with you on that and supporting it in any way is doing you a disservice. It's only going to keep you here. And this place, this dimension. Unless you feel a great sense of urgency that something has shifted, something has opened up, which is very clear right now with what has happened with COVID-19 and the economical disaster which is happening. It's very clear that the gate to, gates to the heaven has opened up. And if you can drop your story and willing to sacrifice everything, which is a very scary thing to do because a lot of us are very attached to our home, to our money, to our sense of false security, to our way of living, to our family, to our friends, to our pets. You're going to have to sacrifice everything that's needed in order to become free and be able to walk through the gates of heaven which is happening right now in this moment. So those of you who really feel the sense of urgency that this is the time and have the guts to let go of everything and put everything at in service of this transition, then you will succeed. But if you want to hang on to your things, especially your story, your false sense of security, which is simply imaginary, it doesn't exist, 